Hi, it's Lauren. And Bowie and I have a new package to open today. Apparently, my lips smell really good. Yeah? Okay. No! <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm kind of late to this game, but Dollar Shave Club, guys. I'm gonna try it out. Um, my current philosophy on razors is uh, I just buy my razors from Big Lots and it's like the cheapest ones that I can find. Uh, I'm realizing that's not like the best way to go because they really don't give me a close shave and I feel like I ended up sh I end up shaving uh, more often than not. So for the Dollar Shave Club, I think your first month is, I'm not gonna say, I don't even know, but it was fairly cheap. So we're gonna try it. And I'm not gonna stab my dog. So. Oh, this is cute. Welcome to your better bathroom. So this is what's going on here. Pretty cute. Remember handbook. Another thing that I've heard about Dollar Shave Club is that it's really like they target it really for men. And even though they have like a huge uh, like a women based community. Um, even though they have a lot of women that buy their products that you they'll send out like in their newsletters they will send out uh, like a whole bunch of of articles related to just men shaving um, and so they're kind of the complaint there is that they ignore their their female customers so um, we shall see about that and Bowie is being so cute do y'all see this right now oh my gosh let's see Bowie is being so adorable. Are you being cute? Mm. Well, now you got lip gloss. Okay. So it comes with a member handbook. And this is my first one ever, so I really... It says month number one, the executive. I don't know what that means. Welcome to the club. Whoa. Oh, okay. Welcome to the club. Gift earn... Uh, gift share earn nice. Don't be bashful about sharing the club. We'll make it worth your while. Okay, cool. It says chairman seal. This is all very like strong man office talk. Wouldn't you say, Travis? The executive. This is very like boys club. It looks like, which I mean, I'm fine with. I'll join a boys club. Uh, welcome to Dollar Shave Club. You've made a very smart decision. Oh, you don't like me putting this in your face? Uh, never again will you trudge to the store for overpriced razor blades. Oh, so it explains your blade. Meet your new razor. You've made an, an excellent choice. The executive is muy successful, muy sexy. Oh yeah, this is like totally for men. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Uh, you get four blades per package. Treat yourself to a fresh blade shave every week guys I don't shave my legs every week any comment on that Travis no comment he doesn't care yeah I don't shave my legs every week um especially now that it's winter so I might just need this like once every other month or something anyways it goes on about razors they're really I mean what else can you say about razors uh, it talks about how you can adjust your frequency and uh, it says you can get deliveries every other month or pause your membership. Don't stress, only pay for the stuff we ship. And you can switch anytime, you can switch to the 4X or the Humble Twin anytime you want. Now as a woman I'd be like, I don't want a 4X! <laughs> I don't want it. That sounds like a size. Um, or the Humble Twin anytime you want. So when I signed up for this, I wasn't really aware that there were different razors. I knew there were different packages, but maybe I really missed that. Um, and you can add things, like there's a shave butter, a post shave cream, which I uh, don't do any of that. A shave butter, I guess, that, guess, I guess that's just your um, shaving gel. All right, whatever. Uh, what is this? Mel, featuring bathroom minutes, how to make Santa's nice list. Is this a magazine to read on the toilet? 
What is this? There's a, a word search on the back. What is this? It's like a little magazine. How to pick the right white elephant. Well, that's interesting. I have a white elephant exchange coming up soon. Uh, how to have a holly jolly Christmas. Okay. A gift guide for every relationship stage. You can never go wrong with a spatula. Travis, I don't want you to buy me a spatula. How many spatulas do people have in their households? I think we have like four. And we have a small household. It's just the two of us. And dogs. And the dogs don't use them. Surviving holiday flying season. Be our perfect guest. Tis the season to go see HR. What? What do you do when the company holiday party gets out of hand? We asked longtime HR expert how to handle those holiday party fouls. Oh, this is kind of, I don't know, is this topical for what the fuck is happening with all the sexual harassment stuff going on? Um, what happens if I end up hooking up with a coworker? We'll make sure there is consent. Um, I have a plus one for my company holiday party, but I'm currently unattached. Can I bring a casual date? If I'm too, if I, I'm worried if I drink too little at the party and go home early, uh, hold on, problem with there, don't, you can drink little, but don't go home early. Everyone will think I'm lame, true, but I don't really want to be out till dawn. What's the middle ground? Are you fucking kidding me? Is that really a question? The middle ground is drink a little, have some club soda, and go home at like 11, but don't be the last person there. That's good advice. You don't drink a little and then go home early and you don't drink a lot and stay late. That's not, unless that's the working environment, unless that's what your boss likes. No, you should never be the last one at a holiday party unless you are hosting. How do I groom my full beard? This is definitely for men, which is fine. I kind of, I mean, I felt like it was anyways. What the fuck? There's comics. This is kind of silly. Anyways, what's the female version of this? And it probably costs like double the amount. Okay, let's get here. Um, they got some, I think the kit is maybe upside down. What's this? You can't teach an old blade new tricks. I think these are the blades. Okay, feels all right. I'm not gonna like play with blades right now. I'll do that later. Change your blade each week. Do people really do that? You have a very important decision to make. Oh, trial kit is what it says. And it's like got some nice wood grain. Oh, I guess so you know these are brand new. All right, you're about to form a very good habit. This is a critical moment. You're about to experience some of our most special products. They're probably going to become a part of your life every day. Put them in the bathroom, test drive them immediately. They're sized for multiple use, enough to get you hooked. Once you're ready to make the right decision, stock up. The shit, shower, and shave. What the? F and I'm looking on the back. The shit is the one wipe Charlie. The shower is the body cleanser and the shave is the shave butter. Are they saying that you should wipe? These are butt wipes. Okay, it says uh, remove and unfold wipe, gently wipe desired area, dispose of in a trash receptacle or flush in the toilet one at a time. Okay, it says wait for great things to happen. You know the great thing that's going to happen if you flush these wipes in your toilet is your septic tank, your whole septic system, your sewer system is going to back up. This is a real thing that happens. Plumbers will tell you, you should never, ever, ever flush wipes. I don't want to go sound like a crazy person here, but you should not be flushing wipes. Just don't do that. But you know what? The runner in me says these will be perfect for post runs. Not for my ass, but for, you know, my face and my body. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you got three One Wipe Charlies. I got some shave butter. 
Ooh, and some calming amber lavender body cleanser. Okay, I'm gonna smell this. This sounds like, okay. It's got a, a foil. Oh, that smells good. Mmm, Bowie. Bowie, sit up. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Okay, smell it. Does it smell good? Yeah, it does. That's what I thought. Nice. All right. Where's the razor? Okay, the razor's here. Ooh! This razor it feels very nice. Okay, Bowie's out. Peace. Bye. You gonna stay? Okay, bye. This feels really nice. It looks kind of cheap, but it feels really nice. Yeah? That's cool. All right, so let's put a razor on this thing. So, wait, am I doing it right? Okay, it goes like this. Come on. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, hold on. We need to focus over here. There we go. That's very nice. It feels nice and weighty. It feels very nice and heavy in my hands. This would be cool. Now, if only it were pink. Just kidding. I'm totally kidding on that. Anyways. We'll try it. We'll see. I think this is cool. Overall, uh, they sent me a really nice kit. Minus them telling you to put wipes, non-flushable wipes. There's no such thing as a flushable wipe. But I will use these on the trail after a run. Use some shave butter. Some amber lavender body cleanser. So this is not the monthly kit. I thought that I had actually signed up for one month like one full month, but no, this is just like a little trial thing, which is totally cool. Got some blades, I got the razor, so. Oh yeah, and then my bathroom reader that talks about how to avoid meeting with HR during the holidays. Keep your hands to yourself, unless someone says, I want your hands on me. Keep your hands to yourself, Travis. Just kidding. Oh, thanks, babe. Um, okay. Anyways, it looks pretty cool, so we will, I will try it out. Travis can be the judge of my smooth legs. But you know how it is, like after you shave your legs, you're like, hey, do you notice anything new? You notice anything new? My legs, with them being super smooth? That's me. That's me after I shave, so. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, uh, yeah. Full review is gonna go on the blog where I actually talk about it and see how it feels afterwards. So I'm not, I don't know why I'm doing this, but how it feels on my legs afterwards. So, and see if this bathroom reader really does keep me entertained on the toilet. And uh, we'll see how these smell. I will not be taking a shit in the woods, but I'll probably, you know, wipe down after a nice run in the woods. Put these, put this on my legs before I, uh, before I shave so I can have a nice smooth shave and then wash my body with this. My vote is it's going to have a nice man lavender smell. That's what the amber stands for is man. So, okay. I'll see you guys later.